Hi everyone, this is Miss Janelle from the Ella Johnson Library, and today we are going to do some melted crayon art for little stitches. In the kit that you picked up from the library, you should have a canvas panel and a handful of crayons. What else you will need for this project is a pan or cookie sheet to put your canvas on and a heat source. Now there's a couple options that we have here. I am going to use a hairdryer. You could also use a heat gun or you could also use the sun. Now, if you're going to use the sun as your method, make sure that you do it on a clear day, no clouds, and I would say probably over 75 degrees outside would be best. You're gonna to wanna to keep it on the sidewalk or in a driveway, and it's gonna to have to be out there for a few hours. So if you do use that method, I would suggest putting it on asphalt if possible, in a pan, and to make sure that it's an area where it's not gonna be knocked over or the wind won't pick it up. Another cool option that you could do is to create a solar oven, which we've done one of those videos before. Check back our YouTube page, go find solar oven, and you can put your piece in a solar oven outside and that should speed up the process from a couple of hours to maybe one. So, first thing you need to do, put your canvas panel in a pan on a cookie sheet and put it in an area where you can heat it up and it won't melt anything or warp your table. Working outside would probably be best. Um, if you have a nice countertop, I would not do this there because we're going to be melting crayons. And although they will come off, it will be difficult. So make sure we're in a place where we can get messy and that our canvas is inside of something. The next thing that's super important is to make sure that you remove all of the paper from your crayons. We can't have any of the outside paper from your crayons. So spend some time taking off all the paper from your crayons because we need to melt them and they won't melt if there's paper on them. So make sure you unwrap all the crayons. Your crayons should look like this. Not like this, like this. After you're done unwrapping all of your crayons, you can go ahead and start placing them on the canvas. Now, do you have cookie cutters? Do you have metal cookie cutters? If you do, what you can do is place your cookie cutter on top of your canvas, put all your crayons inside of it, and melt it into a cool shape. Another option you have is to do a drip where you put all the crayons on the top and you melt the crayons going this way so they look like they're pouring down. And then there's a full abstract method where you just put your crayons all over, melt them evenly, and it'll create a cool abstract design with your crayons. Now crayons are made out of wax and pigment, so any heat source should do. I wouldn't recommend putting it in an oven or a microwave because it will create a terrible smell. So I'm gonna do an abstract method. I'm just gonna cut these crayons up and place them everywhere. Alright, so I have some crayons on here. Another cool thing you can do is if you have a crayon sharpener, you can sharpen them and create kind of like fun designs and patterns with that too. And if you have thinner crayons and sharpened crayons, they'll melt quicker than you do if you have the thick chunks like I do. So you can try sharpening it, you can try using a butter knife, cut them up, shave them, however you wanna do. You'll create a lot of texture and the thinner parts will melt faster than the bigger parts. So now we're going to heat up our crayons and let them melt. This will take a while if you're using a hairdryer. It'll be really quick if you use a heat gun and it'll take a long time if you use the sun. So just remember that in your methodology. And make sure you have a parent or guardian to help you if you're using a hairdryer or a heat gun. Um, we always recommend safety first, wear goggles and gloves, 
do it in a well lit ventilated area and make sure you don't have anything that can melt around you besides the creams. So we'll get started with melting our crayons. All right, so here is my melted crayon piece. Now, I did have a little bit of difficulty keeping some of my chunks of crayon on, so I had to go back and chop them up a little bit smaller. Um, as you can see, some of them kind of went off a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so I had to redirect some of the crayons and I chopped them up smaller. I have a hair dryer that has a really high power fan in it. So if your hair dryer has a very, very fast fan, make sure that you set it on the lowest setting. Make sure you get close to the crayon, but not touching it. Um, you don't want to get any crayon on your hair dryer. If you feel like your hair dryer is too powerful, then try this, the outside in the sun method. Um, like I said, I had to go back and chop up some more of my pieces and you can see some of them had a little bit of difficulty melting. So the neon pink uh, was a little bit more challenging to melt and the lighter pastel colors that have white in them were a little bit easier to melt. So you might have to change up your colors, you might have to chop them up a little bit more. Another method you could do if you feel like you can't get the crayons to stay on there um, is to use something weighted on top of it. So you could put wax paper to get it started and then peel it off and then complete it. Another thing you could do is I took, um, with one of the bigger chunks that I couldn't snap in half of the purple, I took a wooden skewer and I held it with the wooden skewer and then I went over it with the hair dryer until it melted enough that it stuck and then I could direct it around. So. You might have to play with the setup, you might have to play with the size of your crayons, and you might have to get creative and use a couple extra tools if you feel like it's moving too much or they're melting and sliding off too fast. Just kind of mess around with it, but that is melted crayon art. I hope you have so much fun, and remember, be careful, be safe. Make sure you have a parent or guardian to help you with this because it's going to be hot to the touch, um, so we don't want you to burn yourself. But that is it, and make sure to come into the library uh, we have lots more kits coming up and, you know, send us a picture of what you make. We'd love to see what you're creating with the kits that we send out. All right, everyone. Have a good day.